So most of you know that I recently finished up my internship of eight months with Sierra Wireless. But what if I tell you that during my nine to five, I was actually focused more on building a side hustle rather than on the job. I didn't really care how I was performing on the job because my side hustle was my main concern. And now that it's popped off, I've just become a multimillionaire at the age of 22. Well, if you believe that story, then I've got a bridge to sell you as well. I know most of us are serious about wanting to change our lives for the better and follow the new movement of escaping the matrix or the rat race. But that is much easier said than done. And I'm not here to give you a motivational speech on how to achieve it and how to get rich. Rather, I want to educate you on why a side hustle won't get you to your financial independence, financial goals, or ultimately get you rich. But you must also remember that it is impossible to reach that level of financial independence without putting in any work. Now, this is a very common topic known and talked about by everybody that we meet today. And there are hundreds of thousands of videos on the internet that explain what a side hustle is, what are some good side hustles to start, and why you should do them. But remember that nobody will give you the exact method that they followed to make money. And they might give you the its and bits of it, but they won't give you everything, at least not for free. And that is why there exist so many different courses on the internet today that I do not recommend that you enroll in. A side hustle is essentially something you do in addition to your main source of income, which is often a full-time job. It can take many different forms, such as freelancing, gig work, selling products online, offering consulting services, offering courses, investing in real estate or stocks, and so, so many more. The idea behind a side hustle is to generate some extra or passive cash flow and eventually turn it into a substantial income stream, which allows an individual to quit their full-time job. Now, side hustles have gained immense popularity because of several different reasons. Firstly, they provide an opportunity to diversify your income stream, reducing financial reliance on one single source. In a very uncertain economy and the world we live in, this can be incredibly appealing. Secondly, they allow you to explore your passions and your interests. You might have a talent or a passion or a hobby, and a side hustle can be a great way to monetize that. And thirdly, side hustles offer a good degree of flexibility, which means that you can work on them at your own pace, at your own time, making it seem like a perfect fit for those individuals who are rapidly seeking to escape the nine to five grind. More on this later. However, it's important to understand that not all side hustles are created equal. Some might offer a more financial potential, others may require significant investments of time and money, and others might outright fail. And that is the main issue with side hustles that people don't understand and don't see. They're too optimistic about them. Yes, I know that nothing is perfect and every single side hustle will come with its own share of problems. But this is exactly what people fail in understanding. They don't know how to solve these imperfections, causing them to get trapped and lose out on a big chunk of their time, investment, and effort on these side hustles. People are too optimistic about them, thinking that, oh, if I start a side hustle today, I'll start making money right now. But what people need to actually be is realistic. Here are the three main issues I've found with side hustles. This is by far the biggest misconception that people have when it comes to side hustles. When people believe that it's a fast track to making quick and easy and a lot of money. You might see influencers and self-proclaimed gurus on the internet flaunting their lavish lifestyle, claiming that they've achieved it all through their side hustles. But let's be real, for every one successful side hustle, there are thousands of them that never make it big. I've seen influencers out there targeting an audience as young as 18 year old, trying to catch them to buy their expensive courses. Of course, an audience of that age is extremely naive and gullible, which is how these influencers make their big bucks. Now, money never comes easy. Even if you're working extremely hard on your side hustle, which has excellent financial potential, you won't start making money from it or even millions from it just from day one. Unless that side hustle is something illegal, which I absolutely do not recommend. And you need to understand that not all side hustles are created in the same way. While some of them might help you develop a substantial income stream, others will most likely only yield modest income. It is crucial to have realistic expectations about this and be aware that there are no guaranteed shortcuts to financial prosperity. So when you're laser focused on building that side hustle, it's easy to lose sight of your main source of income, which for most of us is our full-time job. 
and neglecting your primary source of income or your full-time job can lead to poor performance on the job, strained relationships with your colleagues and superiors, which can eventually lead to job loss. And without that source of stable income, your side hustle might become your only source of survival, which can add extra pressure on your shoulders. And without a stable source of income, usually households and even relationships take a toll. They end up falling apart. Sacrificing all of this for a side hustle doesn't really seem worth it. Another thing to note here is that it's going to be difficult for you to even fund your side hustle without a stable source of income. And this will cause all the effort you put on your job or in your side hustle eventually go to waste. So what's the point of that? So maintaining that work-life balance is crucial for your overall well-being. Overcommitting to a side hustle can lead to burnout, stress, and a neglect of self-care. The dream of escaping the 9-to-5 grind can quickly become a 24 by 7 hustle, which is not a sustainable way to live. While it's true that your early 20s should be a time of intense ambition and hard work, it's equally important to understand the value of relief and fun during these formative years. And striking a balance is important because it allows you to form, retain, and strengthen your friendships, your networks, and your relationships. This ultimately helps you prevent burnout and helps you improve your work performance and, of course, in remaining healthy. Now, what you need to understand is that I've mentioned all of these not to discourage you from starting your own side hustle, but to warn you about the other side of this that nobody really talks about. Remember, the grass always seems greener on the other side. Now, if you do want to put the hard work and build something for yourself and your future, I believe that there are two roads you can take for this. And it usually starts with... Now, this is the first step because it relates very well to the points that come after this. Education is a powerful tool for both personal and financial growth. Instead of starting a side hustle, invest in your own knowledge and skills. Continuous learning can come in the form of engaging in online courses, attending various workshops, pursuing a formal degree or different certifications. By doing this, you're constantly improving your expertise, which increases your value in the job market, potentially leading to higher paying jobs and more fulfilling opportunities. Or if you don't want to go to the route of having a job, you can learn and master skills such as video editing, web development, or project management, and work on building a thriving business around this aspect. And both of those choices can act as your road to a financial freedom and a better financial future. Now, as I've said before, this will be the primary source of stable income for majority of the people. Financial independence can also be gained while climbing the corporate ladder. Working at big corporations such as the likes of Apple, Nike, Tesla, Walt Disney, PepsiCo, and so many more will give you a range of opportunities and benefits that can help you achieve your goal of financial success. And one of the best ways to access positions at these companies is through continuous learning and continuous development. At higher and good positions, these companies are known to offer competitive salaries, job security, career advancement opportunities, other benefits and perks such as insurance and retirement plans, and so, so much more. At this stage, you're also free from establishing and marketing a whole new side hustle. You only appeal to the current business customers and work on grabbing more and retaining current customers. But if your long-term goal involves financial freedom and escaping the matrix, then instead of building and working on a side hustle, I advise you to go all out and build a business, build a brand from scratch. Now, where a side hustle provides only a passive source of income, a business will replace your current job. It has its own legal structure, formalities, and management. And we've seen countless examples of people starting their businesses from scratch and making millions off of them. But don't be too optimistic. Again, be realistic. Not all businesses will pop off. But as long as you put in the hard work and are consistent with it, I'm sure you'll do great. Now, there are experts all over the internet who started their businesses from scratch and have made so much money off of them. They're so much more experienced than me. So I'm not here to give you tips on how to build that business. Instead, I'm here to give you a tip. And my tip is, because this is a very big project and you're gonna be starting it from scratch, seek mentorship. Mentorship might not help you build your business completely, but it will help build you. Mentors have experienced what you're going to be going through and they will be the perfect source of experience and guidance for you. And once you've chosen a path, whether that is to focus on career advancement by climbing the corporate ladder and working a job, 
or to go all out in building your own business, I recommend you to invest. This will add a good source of passive income for you. Investing can be done with the help of stocks, bonds, ETFs, real estate, or so, so much more. Now, of course, please be calculative before investing as this does come with market risks. Make sure you've done all of your research before investing and maybe even seek out some financial help. I'm no expert when it comes to investing, therefore I'm not going to be giving you any tips. But I think if you're talking about investing in stocks, it's much better to invest in ETFs compared to individual stocks. And if you do decide to start a business, you can reinvest that money into the business to make sure it scales even higher. But of course, reality is much, much more complex than this. But this was the simplest way in which I could explain a topic about which not much is said on the internet and people are scared to talk about. Everyone tells you to start working on a side hustle by buying expensive courses and displaying their lavish lifestyle. But nobody talks about this other side. But remember my friends, that every coin has two sides. With that, we've come to the end of this video. Thank you for joining me on this exhilarating adventure today. If you enjoyed this video, remember to hit that like and subscribe button to our channel for more captivating content like this. Remember to also ring the notification bell so you never miss an update. Remember to also follow us on Instagram and Facebook where we have regular updates and interactions with our subscribers. Until next time, keep striving for excellence, stay curious and always pursue your dreams. Take care and I'll see you in the next one.